Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today, and I'm bringing you the next episode of my Lifeless Planet Let's Play. Although, as you can see, it's not so lifeless right now. Erin Signal, incoming feed, why are you searching for me here? You know where I am, you left me behind years ago. You can't find me now, we're too far apart in distance and time. So that is presumably from his wife. Now, after, le after last episode, um, there were, like, I asked for theories as to what the hell's going on right now, and I got a few in the comments, and I had a few myself. First theory, um, oh my god, for, uh, my keyboard is really playing up right now, one moment. Oh god. Okay, I'll get back to the theories in a second. Right, so um, I've just been tabbed out for about five minutes, because... <sighs> Am I ever going to catch a break? Jesus Christ. Well, have I got... Yes, I have. Hell yeah. Oh wait, this looks almost thumbnailable. I think I'm going for it, guys. Yep, that's probably going to be a thumbnail. Anyway, I was tabbed out for about five minutes, because my keyboard was deciding to... um, I, I literally had to tear off the A key, because it would not stop pressing A. Ooh, the character's actually shouting. I think this is the first time I've heard him, like... One of the first times I've heard him speak out loud. Um, alright, oh, j Jesus, but that is not cool, come on, that's like the impossible platformer right there. Wait, is that, was that supposed to happen? Like, am I going to wake up dead? Okay, no, never mind. Is, is, uh, where am I now? This is so unfair. Okay, either way, first theory is that this is all in his mind, and in fact the entire lifeless planet was in his mind, it was just a method of coping for the loss of his wife. Uh, he sort of, he could be like in some kind of post-traumatic stress disorder, I'm not 100% sure of the scientific um, words for it. So he just created up this planet and he's visiting her, and then this, um, all the planet is the kind of, um, where am I meant to be going? The planet is a representation of his struggle to deal with uh, the loss of his wife, and Eleanor, I've forgotten her name, uh, the mysterious Russian woman is the, meant to represent his wife. Who he's like trying to talk to and communicate with, but she's unable to because she's dead. Huh. Oh wait, is that her over there? No. I'm really not sure where I'm meant to be going right now. Anyway, second theory is this is just a dream. Which, to be honest, I can understand, but I kind of don't want it to be that because it feels too simple. And it would just be, um, he's dreaming about his wife and everything because... If you remember what happened in the last, end of the last episode, the ground kind of collapsed and he fell through. So he's probably unconscious right now and this is just happening in his head and it's a dream. Which would kind of suck. Aha. Maybe that's where I'm in this book. Ooh. Yes, this must be it. Oh yeah, that's, that's her body. Oh, what? This game really doesn't like me, does it? Uh, what? <laughs> okay, just respawn me then die, thanks. The third theory, which has kind of been disproven, is that he fell through the ground and that entire forest was below the ground. But no, it appears that all was a dream. This is the hole he fell into. My first theory was wrong. And um, the third theory was wrong, and the second one was right. The boring theory, which was it was ju all just a dream. I really hate that when everything's just a dream. Either way, okay, what does this say? I wonder if a woman came down with me. Tracking the monster, the creature. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I guess it was a monster that appeared. I thought that was just him going crazy. The creature is a woman now, and she's clearly been injured. Drops of a woman's blood grow bright green on the cabin floor. I hope she is still alive, but I can't imagine how I'll be able to help it if that monster's nearby. Please tell me this game was a final boss battle, because that would be so incredibly cool. Like, there's just this giant monster and you have to float around with your little jetpack and, like... Oh, if you get a gun towards the end... Okay, maybe a gun's a bit of a... Bit of a, um... Bit of a wishful... Wishful thinking? Wishful demand? I'm not sure. Now, that looks like the deadly stuff. So maybe I should... Yeah, maybe I should avoid that. Now, I don't like being in the dark. I preferred it. I Like, the, when I was out in the green forest, that made the... Well, that gave the game the aesthetic that makes it feel really cool. But now I'm back out here, or like in dark caves, where, let's face it, the game really doesn't shine. And I, that's, that was meant to, like, I, that wasn't meant to be a pun or anything, but you know what I mean. It's just really dark down here. You can't see how beautiful the game can really be. Now, I get the impression there's going to be puzzles down here. And as soon as I say that, look what reveals itself. Uh, wait, is there a cutscene before the puzzle? Oh, is that, Ele what was her name? Eleanor? Eleanor? Ele I honestly can't remember. Oh, that's the monster behind her. Okay, so I need to connect these two things. I know this kind of puzzle before. So it's that one in the middle. And... Okay, oh, this is going to create a light bridge that will get me over to her. And then I can walk on over and try and reclaim her from the monster. Or maybe that will provide an escape route for her. Then maybe I need to run away as the caves falling around me or things like that. Yep, there it is. 
So, how how do we deal with this? Is that thing even a monster? I thought the na I thought planet was on her side. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, it did that thing where it explains... It, it, where it doesn't explain how the hell I got where I am and what just happened. This game is like, that is definitely my main criticism of it. The way it just does that. What happened? Why am I here? Where is this? Uh, well, it looks thumbnailable, I guess. But like, come on, you get my point, don't you? It, why would it just cut to an... Uh, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Ailita, that's it. Um, the woman I've been following is gone. Well, no, she's still here, all around me. Having given herself up to the monster to save this planet, she willingly shared her life, saving Cure at her own expense. I'd like to think she's more ho home here, merged with a strange and beautiful ecosystem, than in company of a lowly human being such as myself. Whatever the case, she saved my life, along with countless others being on this planet. I don't think there are many people on this planet. Have you looked at the title of the game? And have you ever encountered anyone that's not mean her? Oh crap, this area is pretty hard to navigate, I won't lie, because like, you can't actually climb it, you have to jump. Now I'm getting to the other end by the looks of it. It's really annoying because now I don't know what I'm going to thumbnail, I don't know if I thumbnail the forest or I don't know if I thumbnail this area, the Greenlands. Okay, yeah, this area is actually really hard to navigate, that wasn't an understatement. Alright, I guess I'm working my way over there. Yeah, so that means I need to sort of jump down here, then go across there or jump down there. Going across here is the best choice. Going across then. No, in fact, I want to go over here and work my way down. Oof. I, I'm not liking this area as far as platforming goes because, like, the platforming in this game works well when it's on flat surfaces, but when you're on rounded surfaces, it's really, really hard, from my experience anyway. Like, come on, come on, come on. Because it's very hard to grip them. And when the surface is moving, it makes it even harder to work out whether you're staying still or not. There's a little smoky beam, but I think I managed to get my way across. And the music has stopped now. No, okay, it just faded out for a second. Wait, where do I go from here then? Because this, isn't this rock blocking me off? Can I get over there? Should be able to. I wouldn't be there for no reason. Yep, there we go. And now I can jump down here. And there we go. Okay, wait. Oh no, that's not a portal. That's just one of the routes. It's coloured a little different. There's a save point, so it should about to go down. Or was that meant to be harder than it actually was? I'm surprised I didn't fall off once, actually. What's going to happen up here? You see, I'm not expecting to see the Russian woman anymore because she just absorbed herself into the plants. Or the monster. I don't know why he's calling it a monster. Like, he knows what it is. He knows it's a plant and everything. And you see what I mean there about the curved platforms being a bitch to navigate. There we go. And, um... I, I'm really curious as to what's going to be around the corner. Like, I'm not sure... Like, why is the character even walking right now? Where's he walking to? What's his goal? Now, maybe if it didn't cut it out, I would actually know. But, no, is it just going to be more platforming? Yes, it is, by the looks of it. No, in fact, it's not even platforming, it's just a walking simulator time. Oh, wait, what's around? Ooh, hello. That looks reassuring. They're like volcano-y type things. That's spouting out something. Oh, is that the moss? Is it shooting out the moss that's, like, making the planet like it is? Possibly, maybe, perhaps. But either way, I was wrong. This is another platforming segment by the looks of it. So if I go from here to over here... Yeah, what I think has happened is she absorbed herself to this monster. And if a monster is a planet, she technically absorbed herself into the planet. So now the planet has the ability to reproduce its own kind of moss. That it is spreading to the rest of the planet, meaning the planet is coming alive. And it is now um, habitable, or whatever you want to call it. Well, to be honest, I don't even know if a moss is like toxic or damaging or whatever. I expect that satellite to blow up. I want it to blow up. I need a Michael Bay moment. But no, if the moss is, um, if the moss is taking over again, then doesn't that mean, where do I go from here? I think this is the best choice. Yeah, if the moss is taking over, then that, doesn't that mean it's going to start rejecting anything human-based or life-form-based? Not life-form-based. Anything foreign. 
Alien, anything alien. That's the word I was looking for. I don't know why I went to foreign before alien. Although, in fact, are foreign and alien technically the same words? Except foreign isn't... I don't know. In fact, I think they have the same meaning, but in different contexts. Okay. Ooh, okay. Portal to this planet was a one-way me transport mechanism, as we discovered following our initial arrival. We originally assumed it would work like any doorway, that we could return through the same portal, but at at our own convenience, but this was not the case. Thankfully, we eventually discovered the second portal, the departure portal, leading back home. This two-way portal system was actually very efficient for transport purposes, and we developed our settlements appropriately to regulate trans travel back and forth as necessary. But what we didn't comprehend at first was the lost time encountered through the portals. Whilst transport happens quickly, time on Earth and this planet are not in sync. We soon realised that a week on this world was like a month back on Earth. Um... When the portals failed, this time disparity became great. When the arrival portal malfunctioned and killed so many people, we became afraid to use the departure portal to return to Earth. Over time, we started to see images we did not recognise on the other side. There were strange, towering structures, much more advanced than anything we'd seen before. Some believe the portal had recalibrated to the home world of the portal creators, and I knew the truth. The images in Portal were on Earth, but centuries in the future. That's an awesome twist. Unfortunately, we never tested our hypothesis given, hypotheses given the completely unstable power reactions from the portal. It was far more likely we would suffer a tragic transportation accident, like our comrades from home attempting to reach us. There were no volunteers and eventually no further opportunities before the portal went dark and cold. In retrospect, I wish we'd taken our chances. Okay, so the portal is no longer functional, which is a shame for our character. Does that mean Earth was destroyed? Or well, either way, the portal... Um, that explains why the Russians got here first, and colonised it first. Because, whilst they didn't on the main planet, they did in the past. Oh, when time travel gets involved. When time travel's involved, everything gets so much more confusing. I'm expecting to see something really awesome over this hill. With the music build up, and with the hill looking like this. Am I gonna see, am I gonna see, am I gonna... Am I gonna see another hill? That would've been so cool, that would've been like an amazing... Reveal moment there if I like saw Earth or New York or London or something, but that'd be a bit too Planet of the Apes I think Anyway, that is a portal. That is a departure portal I am looking for and it seems as though it's been lit up now, and it seems as though there's an image through it So maybe alien or Is that alien? That's one of the monsters over there. That's one of the monsters there They're moving too. Maybe alien or powered the portal for me so I could get home There's monsters everywhere actually geez uh, either way what was I going to say? Yeah, that means, um, that's, um, that's, um, like, why the character is so confused with the timelines and stuff. Because, oh, wait, that means when he gets back through the portal, it's going to be so much more in the future. And that also means that the alien planet that they kept seeing, and the alien pe civilization that he was thinking of, is actually just humans, essentially. Just, like, from a different time period. Oh, there's a portal. I kind of want to screenshot this, actually. I don't know why I'm screenshotting it. I like taking screenshots on Steam. I'm probably talking a little bit too much to say this is like what I presume is the finale of a game. But yeah, I can see glimpses of Earth through there, which means the portal is now on, and I am about to return home after a long, unevent or a long eventful but unsuccessful, unpractical, and it really didn't do anything for me journey to this lifeless planet. What is this thing though? What is? Oh, that's like a button. Oh, imagine if I had a choice to go through or not. Like, there's multiple endings. Even though I can't do any. Wait a second. The sound is directional and it's coming from a stone. Okay, that is really disorienting. I'm. I'm getting, I'm getting distracted at wrong things here, sorry about that. But here is the portal. I kinda wanna go past and just explore the rest of it, but nah. I shall not keep you waiting. There is Earth. God knows what time period it's gonna be, but let's go through and see what happens. As I understand, you've kept your wife on life support. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again. Even if I'm not here. Oh, so I am now on Earth, still in my astronaut suit, and here is Earth. A metropolitan Earth. And there's the Achievement Rocketeer. Oh, I kind of want to screenshot this and like use this as a thumbnail, but that would be spoilers, wouldn't it? Oh, well, I guess that's the end of Lifeless Planet. And... Is how is he now able to bring his wife back to life? Although, it'll be like 200 years in the future, would he have 
Would they have kept on life support if he just went missing? But maybe he would have brought back something from planet, or maybe with the advancement of technology, she is now revived, or things like that. Either way, I finally finished my Life of Planet Let's Play, a game I was never ever planning on Let's Playing. It started with a simple first 10 minutes of Life of Planet, where I gave first impressions, and then I showed you a bit more of the story and the potential of the game, and then it just evolved into a full-on Let's Play, and it's actually been the first Let's Play I've done in a while on a game like this from beginning to end. And I'm doing things like XCOM and stuff like that, but that's not conventional Let's Play. Either way, what a oh no! I said I was going to look at the sound designers, and I passed them. Well, either way, I'm going to watch back this footage, find the sound designers, thank them on Twitter and everything, because they have done a stellar job. And there are all the Kickstarters back there, as this game was Kickstarted. Thanks, huge thanks to the developer for letting me get some press coverage of this game before it was actually released on Steam and everything like that. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I have to say. Please let me know what you thought of the series, if there's any other series you would like me to let's play, or if there's no guarantee that I will do so. Leave rating if you enjoyed the series, I think I've already said that. This has been me, Evans with Z11, and um, please rating if you enjoyed the series, and yeah, please leave rating if you enjoyed the series, <laughs> and that's pretty much everything I have to say. Um, yeah, this has been me, Evans with Z11. I'm just going to repeat myself until credits end. It's like I'm hoping for an after credit sequence, so I'm trying to buy as much time as possible. But I will not keep you any longer, because that will just give you false hope. I'll cut if there is a post credit sequence, but I don't think there will be. This has been me, Evans with Z11, please leave rating if you enjoyed the video, and this is me, out. Peace. What will you miss most about Earth? Well, my wife first of all, and then Earth itself. All of it. She saw the beauty of this planet long before I did. You truly loved her? Of course. And if you lose someone you love, even 20 light years probably isn't enough distance to make you stop missing them.